What's up everyone? All right, I wanted to give you guys a little weekend update. So uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna fly back to uh, the East Coast and I've been out here in California for about a week and a half and uh, something that's kind of made me think about a little bit is being okay with being a little outside your comfort zone. And when it comes to trading, you know, three years ago, four years ago when I was trading, I was trading with pretty small size. 1,000 shares, 1,500 shares, maybe 2,500, maybe 3,000 if I was being aggressive, but I would rarely have 15, 20,000 share positions. But over the years, as I've gained confidence, I've been able to increase my share size. But even today, I had a trade where I took 12,500 shares, and I started to feel a little bit of that, you know, uh, I'm a little outside my comfort zone. I'm a little too heavy in this position, and you know, I start to worry a little bit about the risk. But the reason that I've gotten to where I'm at right now as a trader is because I've continually pushed the boundaries of my comfort zone. And so I want you guys to think about this when it comes to your trading, that if you're not feeling a little bit uncomfortable at times, it means you're almost not pushing yourself hard enough. You know, and as it relates to being out here in, in California, you know, three, four years ago, living up in Vermont, I was content not to go on a single vacation for a year. And those of you guys that were in the chat room back then, I mean, you, you probably remember it. I didn't go on vacation. I just traded my home office day after day after day. And that was my comfort zone. And for me, growing as a trader and also growing as a person has meant pushing the boundaries a little bit. And so last year when we started doing our inner circle seminars, we did one in Las Vegas, another in uh, New York City, and we've got another one coming up this spring in Orlando. These have also been kind of opportunities for me to push, you know, a little outside my comfort zone. Like for me, even though this probably would be a surprise, I'm a really introverted person. I would prefer more than anything else on a Friday night to work just to be in my office, you know, with some music and just in my zone, in my own bubble. And when it came to even teaching our first day trade course, I was really nervous to teach it because I am not a public speaker. It's not something that I was naturally good at, that I wanted to do. I wanted to help beginner traders, but it was a, it was a real difficult thing for me to do initially. And I had to kind of, you know, be a little uncomfortable. But by doing that, I was able to grow. And then I got really comfortable teaching the classes online. And now I've pushed myself to start doing public speaking in these seminars. And when I'm up in front of everyone talking, I've become, you know, started to become more and more comfortable. And so, you know, me being out here is because we've got this office in California, which, uh, you know, initially when we set it up, I knew it was going to force me to travel a lot more. But it's what I felt I needed to do for warrior trading to grow. I wanted our community to continue to grow. I wanted to be able to provide you guys with, you know, the amazing chat room, the amazing trading software, you know, with everything that you guys get every single day as, as members. And in order to do that, I needed more help. I needed staff. And I wanted to hire really good tech guys from Silicon Valley. And so having our office in California made a lot of sense, but it was me pushing the boundaries. And Again, if you're not feeling a little uncomfortable, you're not growing. So when it comes back to trading, you know, today that 12,500 share position, uh, it was funny because there was a trader in the chat room who said that he was taking 30,000 shares of the same stock I was trading today. So he's pushed that boundary and his risk tolerance is a little bit higher. And he, whether he's just further down the road in his trading than I am, or he's just got a bigger account and he can afford you know, the swings, I'm not really sure, but it made me think about, you know, when will be the time that I'm comfortable pulling the trigger on like a 25,000, a 30,000 share position? Because right now that's, to me, that's crazy. 30,000 shares, you lose 10 cents, you're down three grand. You lose 30 cents, you're down nine grand. And it can happen fast. Today I took a 30 cent loss with 10,000 shares and I lost three grand. Three grand I can handle. Losing nine grand in one trade, I've done it before and it's not fun. But that's part of the territory with trading with bigger size. Let me give you another analogy. This one goes back to Jackson Hole last year. So uh, last year, President's Day, flew out to Jackson Hole to go skiing. And I thought to myself, okay, you know, I'm probably 
you know, I was a little nervous for some reason about falling because the, you know, the mountains out west are a lot bigger than, than back east. And, you know, I just was like, ah, you know, I don't know the, the terrain might be more difficult. And then I remind myself that if I don't fall, then, you know, I, I can go skiing and not fall. That's by staying on the bunny slope, right? That's by staying on, you know, the green circle. If you push yourself, you're going to fall. And that's okay. It's a sign that you are pushing yourself and you're growing. You're trying to become a better skier. You know, you take a big loss trading. Well, you're trying to become a better trader. You're trying to push yourself. So if my consistency was 100%, I would say I'm being too conservative because I'm not, I'm not trying to test things that I'm not certain of. So anyone right now that's had losses, whether it's, you know, you've, but you're red on the month, you're red on the year, you're red on the week, I want you to think about it from this perspective of right now, you're pushing yourself. You're a little outside your comfort zone, and that's okay. You will get more consistent as you have more confidence and more experience. That just comes with the territory. But initially, when you're a little outside the comfort zone, you will have some of those losses. You'll have some of those setbacks. You know, for me, I'll have moments where I'm feeling a little panicky because I've got to speak publicly in front of, you know, 50, 60, 70, 100 people. That's not something I'm normally comfortable with. But the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. So I'm thinking with my trading, you know, six months from now, a year from now, I might be comfortable on a more consistent basis having 15,000 shares, having 20,000 shares. If you looked at my trades for the last 12 months and, you know, the average gains for the last 12 months or total gains is probably around $380,000, $400,000. And then if you looked at the average share size, my average share size, averaging every trade, I would guess it's only about 6,000 shares, 5,000, 6,000. So, geez, does that mean if I took on average 12,000 shares, I would have made $800,000 in the last year? I don't know. Maybe. But not if taking all that size right away changes the way I trade, because it could. All of a sudden, you start to get more panicky, and you sell faster, you have losses, or, or you sell faster even when you're green and your winners become smaller. So one of the things I really encourage traders to do when you go live is to scale up slowly. Even if you start with as little as 100 shares, and you know that's when you start trading live, trade with 100 shares for a month. Be consistent, be profitable. Even if you lose money because of commissions, that doesn't matter. What you're trying to do is prove that you can be a profitable trader just on your per share gains. And then slowly increase that to 150 shares, 200 shares. And that's one of the things that I did for myself when I put myself into a, a trader rehab. This was August, several years ago. I came back out starting with smaller size and then increasing, I think it was I was doubling every two, every week or something like that, from a 200 shares to 400, 400 maybe to 600, and then to 800, and then 1,000, 1,500. And, you know, I, I moved up more than just 100 shares, um, you know, per increment. But, you know, I slowly scaled myself back up, and as I did that, my profits increased, and what was important is that I didn't start exhibiting that behavior of trading irrationally because I took too much size too soon. Right now, if I start taking 30,000 share positions, I'm going to trade differently than I trade with five or 6,000 shares because the emotions are going to come out. That feeling of being really uncomfortable is going to be so high, it's going to impact the way I trade. So I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, the comfort zone and um, it's just something that I was thinking about. You know, I'm enjoying my last day here on this California trip. And a couple years ago, three, four years ago, I wouldn't have guessed I'd have a big office in California. I wouldn't have guessed I'd be coming out here every other month. You know, it's um, enjoying these views behind me of the Hollywood Hills. I mean, it's really incredible. And it's thanks to me pushing the boundaries. So whether you're doing that in trading, you're doing that in skiing, you know, in tennis, ping pong, whatever you're doing to make sure you're constantly pushing a little bit because that's really how you grow. So anyways, that's my two cents for a weekend update. By the time you guys are watching this, I'll probably be in the air flying back home and I'll be back in my office uh, tomorrow or well, uh, I'll be back there uh, Saturday night and I'll be trading back in my regular office Monday morning. 
All right, so I'll see all you guys back on Monday. We'll do our uh, pre-market watch list around 9, 9.15. I'll live stream on YouTube as long as my connection is good. I'm sure it will because back home is fine. And then we'll start trading as soon as the bell rings at 9.30. All right, I'll see you guys next week. If you're still watching, you must have really enjoyed that video. So why not subscribe and get email alerts anytime I upload new content? Remember, when you subscribe, you become a member of the Warrior Trading family.